The Today Manufacturing Podcast offers a powerful and unique perspective on the biggest stories impacting U.S. manufacturers. Anna Wells, David Manti, and Jeff Ranke apply their experience as editors of industry-leading brands, Manufacturing.net, and Industrial Equipment News in providing in-depth analysis of the latest headlines. Their insight, along with a mix of humor and human interest, makes Today in Manufacturing a go-to source. Keep pace with supply chain challenges, electric vehicle developments, labor struggles, robotics, and more by listening, downloading, and subscribing to the Today in Manufacturing podcast. Once again, General Motors has made history. The 2025 Chevy Corvette ZR1 recently became the fastest car ever built by a U.S. auto manufacturer. And the driver was none other than GM President Mark Royce. The GM team traveled to Germany's high-speed oval track at ATP Automotive Testing Facility in Papenburg and reached a two-way average speed of 233 miles per hour. They clock you both ways and take an average to account for the wind. Papenburg provides ideal conditions for a high-speed test, like temperature and air density. The ZR1 is now the fastest current production car, priced under $1 million, and the fastest factory stock Corvette on Earth, according to the company. The 2025 ZR1 is expected to start around $180,000 and go up to $205,000, according to Car and Driver. In 2020, Corvette moved to a mid-engine architecture, and the ZR1 has the most powerful V8 engine ever produced by a domestic manufacturer. The ZR1 set the record with a standard chassis and aero package, as well as a standard spoiler, carbon fiber ground effects, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, and aluminum wheels. However, a top speed mode was exclusively developed for closed course use. The setting adjusts chassis control systems for max speed. During the development process, Chevy's engineers relied heavily on GM's software, modeling, and hardware expertise. During Royce's record-setting run, an engineer was actually in the passenger seat analyzing data in real time. The ZR1 reached 233 miles per hour with the engine at the red line in sixth gear. And the achievement didn't just happen once. According to GM, five engineers using both ZR1 development cars on site topped 230 miles per hour. It was just an incredible day at the office. Corvette ZR1 lead development engineer Chris Barber said, quote, this car actually overachieved. He added, we actually didn't think 233 miles per hour was in the cards. When development started on the C8 generation Corvette, the goal was 220 miles per hour. In testing, the car exceeded expectations, so the team pushed the top speed objective to 230 miles per hour. Once again, this is the most powerful factory-built V8 engine from an auto manufacturer in the United States. The ZR1 has a 5.5-liter twin-turbocharged V8 that can generate 1,064 horsepower at 7,000 RPM and 828 foot-pounds of torque at 6,000 RPM. GM says the ZR1 has an estimated sub-10-second quarter-mile time. Royce called the record-breaking attempt, quote, an exhilarating, surreal experience. I'm David Manti. This is Manufacturing Now. Holy crap, that's fast.